All right, so this is gonna be part two to uh, making the car stage two. We finally got the downpipe on. We're gonna be doing the Grim Speed electronic boost control solenoid. We'll be showing you guys exactly how to install this. So really quickly, I gotta take this bracket off because this is for the WRX. I ordered a new set uh, of hoses. So these are the new hoses right here. Um, and then here's the new bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bracket on here and then uh, we're gonna put the boost controller on. that anymore now I believe this goes well, obviously like this All right, so now that's finished, we're gonna take this to the car. I'm just gonna set this down here for now. We're gonna need to take off this uh, metal part. So we're gonna go ahead and take these bolts off right here. This is where you're gonna be holding on to the boost control solenoid or putting it down. We're just gonna put everything in here. And then there's that one more right there. And that's gonna be a 12. And be careful when putting yourself down here, you don't wanna really damage anything. I'm trying to be careful when setting it down. And I just wanna kind of Take some of the stuff off. There's actually one more screw right here that would help removing that. And it kind of just is held in here. That part comes off like that. Put this to the side. Now here's your OEM boost control solenoid that we're going to be replacing. So as you can see, we're going to be replacing this. We got these two. So this is the connector, and then we got a little Y or a T uh, little T hose going right here. We got a little nipple right here where my finger is. Going to be putting one of the hoses right there. And then another one right here on the waste cage. You can see that. So we can start by pulling off this connector. It's just a tab you push down. And it comes out like that. Then you want to take this T hose out. So this is where you want to get some needle nose pliers, something like this. So you can get inside and take off those clamps. It's gonna be very tough to get to those. So right here, if you can see, so if you look right there, that's gonna be the the nipple you wanna remove. Comes off the turbo. Then there's one more right here. That comes off the wastegate. If you can see it. I removed it right there. So those are the two you want to remove. And this one right here. Now I loosened the clamp, so now I think I can just pull these right off. Hopefully. So just kind of take a flathead and just push them off the nipples. Got one of them off. I don't know if you can see that. 
Can we get the other one pushed off here? There we go. Now this whole T-sit should be able to come right out. So it's literally like this. You got one on the turbo and you got one on the wastegate. Those are the two you want to remove. And this whole assembly can kind of come out. With that, just like that. That is your stock boost control system that you got going on. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug this one in right now. So that's good. Set this down for a second because we're gonna need to put the, actually, yeah, we're, we're gonna put the cover on last after we hook up all the hoses so it's not in the way. I was sent one long hose that I'm gonna have to cut up to length. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. You need to get your stock boost controller and you need to take this section out right here because you're gonna be needing this and you're gonna be needing this one. So these two things you're gonna need because it's gonna need to fit onto this piece right here. So I'm gonna take those off and then we're gonna continue. All right, after you got those two pieces, you wanna put those two together. Now I don't like how loose this is, so I'm gonna zip tie it. Let me do that. I like to put zip ties on all my stuff. I don't like it when anything is loose, especially to do with boost, because then uh, your car can run really lean if one of these hoses blow off. That is not good. Put the hose right on here. It's gonna be a tight fit, I'll tell you. And just like that, you could put a zip tie over this, but it's pretty tight. I don't, I'm not really worried about that right there. So what we're actually gonna do is put a hose on here. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. Get a zip tie on there. Now I know it's gonna be, this will be long enough for sure. So I'm just gonna cut it right here. So there's that. Now we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna connect the hose to the wastegate and a hose to the turbo. Okay, so I finally got the hoses all routed. We got this one coming off the intake. Then we got this hose right here. This one's going all the way down to this waste gate. Right there. And then we got this one. This one's sinking all the way down to the turbo nipple. So that's right there. It's that nipple right there. Now we're gonna connect all these to this module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snake it like this. I'm going to have this go under here. So it's kind of all like this, kind of get it all out of the way. And I know I want this one to be routing underneath. What we're going to do is we're going to put this thing back on. It goes like this. And then the this gets put onto it right here. So we're gonna put this bolt in here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these ones down. And the nut for this thing. There we go. This is how you mount it. So we're gonna put all the hoses on. The one off the intake needs to go to hose number one. So right there, I'm gonna go ahead and put a zip tie on that. So that's done. Now we're gonna need the one off of the turbo. And that is this hose right here. This one's gonna connect to number two, which is right here. Just like that, and another zip tie. Finally, you want to get your wastegate 
hose connected to right here. Last but not least, another zip tie, and this should be just about finished. Now all you gotta do is just screw it on like that. So let me do that. Okay, now we're just officially tightening everything down. Make sure everything's nice and snug. You got zip ties on all of your connections. That's good, that's good. Just hose where it needs to go. And that does it for the grip speed electronic boost control solenoid. Thanks for watching.